Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back to another session of Maghrebi Madness. I apologize for the slight delay in the kickoff today, but I was terrified that we might have to cancel the live stream altogether because for some reason, uh, Streamlabs was just not hooking up with uh, with YouTube. But uh, you know, problem solved. Looks like we're uh, we're all good now. Let me know if you all can hear me loud and clear. If uh, if uh, there are any issues because it looks like all's good on my end over here yeah mike's working audio's working all right cool looks like we're good folks my apologies again for that delay i i try i i i i, I hate tardiness i try to be on time as best as possible but uh, audio has some lr problem what that's weird what's going on here what have you done windows update what have you done i hate Windows updates. The number one way to ruin your uh, audio situation is to have a Windows update happen. Spindle says audio is fine. Uh, looks like my output is actually yeah, left only. Weird. Okay, let me let me see what I can do over here, folks. Uh, my apologies um, about this. I'm gonna see if we can't figure this out. I'm gonna see if we can't figure this out here. Okay, all right. Gonna gonna have a timestamp in the description down below for anybody watching the VOD, so you don't have to watch me troubleshoot um, <laughs> audio issues at the beginning of uh, of a stream over here. Uh, let's see, microphone setup. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, Windows? Um, oh, that's not it. That's not it. Huh. TV, <laughs> watching on TV, eh? Yeah, we must whip the audio issues. I mean, hey, that seems to solve most of our problems. Honestly, 9 out of 10 times, I actually don't have issues with, um, uh, with, uh, with Windows updates ruining my audio setups. I always hear people complaining about it, but I've never had to deal with that. Uh, and now here we are. There's a first time for everything, as they say. And here we are. Uh, can I get rid of this thing? Still nothing, eh? Still nothing. Um. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's definitely my mic. I can I can see it on my end now as well. I've got like two bars for left and right audio, and I can see that only uh <laughs> only left audio is going out. What's going on over here, man? Um. Just, uh... All right, how about this? That's got to do the trick. They're just going to down mix to mono for now. It's not like we need stereo sound for my voice that's coming through uh, both sides evenly. Folks, can y'all hear me loud and clear right now? <laughs> a historic moment in party history. Quite a few historic moments happening right now, actually. Um, we must unite. I love that you say that because it's like the audio, like setting things to mono is basically like unifying the audio across both sides. The whipping worked. All right, cool, wonderful. I knew there was a checkbox somewhere. I just couldn't remember exactly where it was. That's that 10 a.m. brain, folks. Waking up in the morning still. Gloomy mornings make it even harder to wake up. But thank you for your patience. Uh, but yes, quite uh, quite a few historic moments. One, you know, technical technical issues that I've never faced before. Two, we just hit 150 thousand subscribers uh last night which is absolutely wild so thank you all very much who have been a part of that absolutely ridiculously surpassing my goals and dreams for this year uh very excited to to, to celebrate that and, and shout that out and also uh this week on friday just mentioning this right off the bat because um you know why not talk about historic moments uh but this week on friday i will be doing an extra stream uh, because it is my birthday on Friday, and uh, I thought it would be nice to have the first ever um, birthday stream. Uh, so it'll be the same time, and it will be on uh, on, on Friday. That's 10 a.m. Eastern time on Friday. I'm playing a game that I cannot tell you about just yet, uh, but if you like Crusader Kings, I think you will really enjoy the game I am playing on Friday. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> just thought I'd shout that out right at the start there. Um, folks, well, thank you very much for the birthday wishes, but yeah, Friday... Uh, should be a good time. I figured it'd be a, a fun, uh, fun way to celebrate. Uh, you know, especially given the uh, the circumstances this year. Let's call it that, the circumstances. But let's not wait any longer here, folks. We've had long enough for the uh, party to get started with Crusader Kings Three. Just want to say hello, of course, to Sakif, Jazzy B. We've got Neil W. Citravani. Uh, we've got David 
Pac-Man, we've got Nisar Pupsar, we've got Classified, Lisa Magnuson Biel, we've got Jeffrey Nelson, Brian Richards, we've got Jag, Jag or Yag, Jag, Jag, I'm guessing it's Jag, like J-A-G, like all caps like that, let me know, let me know, always feel free to correct me, of course, uh, YouTube Sarko, Seljic T, uh, Mara went in there as well, how are y'all doing, Annie Mator, Esteban, glad you can make it as well, buddy, Spindle, saw you earlier as well, uh, <laughs> he was busy reading stuff. <laughs> I love using spoiler tags in the Discord. Uh, Richard uh, Burgess, glad you can make it as well. Uh, you're the one who first noticed the audio problems. I think I've caught everyone that has mentioned something in chat. We've got Thetonius Ishan Sarkar as well. Or sorry, Sarkar. I hope I got that correct. Let me know, buddy. Uh, and we've got C2H7RT. Windows update messed up with a couple of things, including default browser. Amazing. They always try to sneak that in, don't they? Christian Almonte, how's it going, man? How's it going? All right, folks. Oh, Haldor. How's it going, man? It's been a while. And Karoo Fish, hope you have a good day. No Natalie P. I yeah, you know what, Jazzy B. It's it's wild. I was thinking that I was like, oh man, Natalie P. Running a little late. Uh, maybe she's gonna watch the vod and hear that and get very uh, <laughs> very very concerned. But yeah, maybe she ran out of tea. Had to go out for a tea run. Uh, yeah, it should be a fun Friday. Should be a fun Friday, Christian. I believe I've caught y'all. Hope y'all are having a wonderful start to your weeks. Yes, the birthday is on the fourth of December, Citra. <laughs> Merwin, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, hopefully she'll be able to drop in and join in uh, uh, eventually during the, uh, the 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 stream today. But uh, let's uh, let's dive on in again. As always, got to start with the screen. Can't can't not. I want to mention as well that I am currently rolled back to 1.1.3 1 uh, version 1.1.3. I cannot um, use our save game on the latest version of the game uh, because there are. Uh, well, it's a it's it's a save breaking patch. Like, not much I can do, do about that, right? Um, so we are using 1.1.3. So if you notice any uh, things are missing that are active in your game, that's why. So as an example, uh, there is now a, a a kill list that shows up, but that's not available here. Uh, there's a way to attach armies to allied armies, but that's not something we're gonna have uh, uh, available to us. Uh, so just thought I'd mention that right off the bat because it. it you know, it, it would be noticeable, uh, but thankfully, I'm so glad that, uh, like, the patching is done that way with Paradox Games, because otherwise, this save would have been broken, and, um, and, man, I would have been really sad. <laughs> I would have been really sad. Uh, yeah, save breaking patches happen. I mean, Jazzy B, if you're worried about, uh, Bannerlord, it's not happened yet, so fingers, fingers, fingers crossed. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's funny looking back at the, the story over here. I mentioned the Discord as well, which I think, uh, I, who was it? Was it YouTube Sarko? It's got, yeah, it was, of course it was YouTube Sarko. I was, I like, I didn't even have to think about it. I don't know why I doubted. YouTube Sarko dropped the Discord link. If you're not there already, uh, feel free to join in. Uh, but, uh, I mentioned it there as well that this might be, might be the final or it might actually be the penultimate episode of this series because we're very close to accomplishing our goals, uh, which is, of course, at, at this point in time to uh, establish the Empire of Maghreb. I mean, we need quite a few more counties. Um, we're about halfway, well, actually, we're, we're exactly halfway there. Uh, so we're not, we're not too far away from being able to establish the Empire of Maghreb, and that would kind of be all of our, uh, you know, primary objectives fulfilled. The Byzantine B plot, as I'm calling it now, as I have, uh, you know, uh, christened it, or um, as I have orthodoxed it, I guess. Uh, ordained it. Um, the Byzantine B plot was fun, but it is a thing of the past. I mean, we did quite well. Honestly, we, we for all intents and purposes, we won that civil war uh, that took over the Byzantine Empire. We, we got it to that 30%. We got it to where it needs to be to, um, to, to, to push for the white peace, but that dumb child decided, no, I'm going to keep fighting. And we got there despite Constantinople being taken. The, the 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 rebel scum managed to take Constantinople, and despite that, we got the war to uh, you know plus thirty percent, and even still, nothing exactly. We did it, but the child was a fool. So what's a man to do? Now, with that said, our uh, our little uh, insertion into the Byzantine Empire wasn't all you know fruitless. There is a bit of Zaidi influence now in this uh, you know. Lot of, of, of orthodox land so we can at least walk away knowing that we made a mark in uh, in 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 history as far as uh, the you know Anatolian stuff is concerned so it wasn't it wasn't all 
uh, uh, fruitless, but there were definitely things we could have done in the setup that would have made it more successful. Uh, for example, getting some of these vassals as prisoners early on and converting them uh, would have been a huge part to help us with, uh, uh, you know, with the overall plot. But it is what it is. I think we had a good time. I think it was fun. Uh, but as I said last session, much like an anime side plot, we're going to set that aside and, and, and focus a little bit closer to home. Ease, buddy. Glad you can make it, man. Hope you're having a good day, dude. Got some stuff to do. Well, I hope, uh, hope it's not too rough a start to the work week, man. We're glad you can make it. Um... In times like these, it makes me disappointed in two-year-olds. I know, right? Man, what are they even good for? Trevor Abbott, thank you for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying the show, buddy. Uh, all right, um, so that's that. What else happened? We, right, we got uh, we got cancer. Um, we, got can we still have cancer. It's obviously a bit of a problem, but fortunately, uh, we did have um, our physician take good care of us, so we are, you know, looking okay. We're still not perfect. We're still not 100%. We're doing okay. Now, I mean, I might actually want to consider that moving forward. We have been working down the August tree over here. Uh, but we might want to consider flipping over to whole of body. I mean, as we get older and we get a bit more concerned about our, uh, you know, our, our mortal um, existence, we might want to uh, be a bit more, you know, cognizant of that. So something to think about. Uh, but of course, we do want August 1st. I would like very much to be able to convince some of these people to join us as vassals, uh, like, you know, diplomatically speaking, because, again, we've got a high diplomacy, and I'd, I'd really like to do that. Now, our heir is also pretty good, not the best diplomacy, but he's pretty good across the board. Otherwise, he is a genius. That obviously helps. Uh, so it's not like, you know, this is the end of the line or anything. We have a good future ahead of us. We have a good future ahead of us. Um, on the topic of the future, just as a reminder, um, the... Oh, what is what is this? Oh, weird. It like lined up perfectly that I thought we were at war with somebody else. I can't even get it to line up again. I was like, who else are we at war at? Because I remember this raiding happening, but the war... Okay, that scared me for a second. Um, but yeah, just as a reminder, we are looking to murder Magan Taburi of Ghana. Again, again uh, Magan is a, is a title. So Taburi, I think, of, of, of Ghana. Uh, he's going to have a bad time as we try to assassinate him because, as we noticed last session, it seems as though there are three kingdoms under his uh, domain. Uh, the kingdom of Ghana, the kingdom of Anbeya, which is up over here, and the kingdom of Takrur, which is... Uh, oh, Anbeya is actually much bigger than I thought it was. Uh, Takrur is down over here. Okay. I did not realize Anbeya went up to here. Oh, excellent. That's actually now a little unfortunate because, well, we have a separate war planned with Mazab anyway that we'll do first. Ghana will split into three at the end of, uh, you know, at the end of this assassination, which will happen in just six months' time. And that'll make it much easier to take them apart, to pick them apart piece by piece. Uh, Merwin says, I must say, I think Ismail is my close second favorite right after the OG al Qasim. I mean, Ismail has done some fantastic stuff. He's been a fun one for sure, and the OG al Qasim really set us up for success as well. Ain't that the truth? Uh, what, what do you need to do because of the raid? Oh, nothing, Jazzy B. I mean, I could respond. This is just saying that because, uh, oh, what do you know? It's actually, it's actually Ghana that's raiding me. Uh, we'll have our vengeance in due time. It's just letting me know that I'm allowed to... Uh, kill their raiding armies without like war penalties or anything like that uh, for another 30 days or so. But uh, we'll, we'll let that expire. No problem. We're, our, our vengeance will be swift and greater than just one uh, than just one quick uh, quick little thing. Uh, no, Neil W. Tomorrow is not uh, Empire of Sin. We already planned a stream for uh, for Phantom Brigade tomorrow, and I like to try and stick to my promises. Uh, but we'll 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 uh, we'll talk about. Uh, uh, we'll talk about that when uh, when the opportunity uh, gets there. Um, Ghana is going to be killed soon. Yeah, exactly. It's not it's not going to be too much of a problem. Uh, YouTube Sarko always fulfill the promise, even if it's cross platform. I got the oh, <laughs> thanks, dude. <laughs> thanks. Had me a mug of beer. Oh man, I feel that. I haven't had a drink since uh, March. Eh, uh, I, I like you know what I mean when I say a drink. Anyway, um, let's. Uh... I think that's all the recapping we need to do. I, I, I think we're, we're, we're good to get stuff started. Uh, BG3, uh, Jazzy B, uh, you know, I was, I was, I had great momentum when it first dropped early access, Baldur's Great 3, uh, for those that don't know, the, don't, don't follow the acronym, but, um, it's, I don't know, there's something about losing your character with updates in an RPG. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, something to think about. <laughs> 
it's not it's 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 in the back of my mind constantly but there's so much other stuff going on at the same time uh there will be a new uh so we're going back to our regular uh schedule uh sant sant gens i hope i got that right uh this weekend was just kind of messed up and there was a lot going on so unfortunately no no videos uh this weekend uh if you follow me on twitter link in the description um, you, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll stay up to date with, uh, updates on, on scheduling, uh, issues and things like that. Uh, all right, let's go, shall we? Now the new, oh man, it's almost the year, uh, 1000 as well. I think we're going to end nine, nine ninety nine with, uh, with, uh, with the war on Mazab. I see no reason not to. I see no reason not to. We don't have a truce or anything. Uh, we'd be able to finish them off very quickly. They're extremely weak. They do have an alliance over here, but that's... Oh, that's an internal alliance, so that's not a problem. Uh, so we head on down. We Just a regular war for a duchy over here would allow us to very quickly... Oh, we've got some... Nah, I, I say we go for a proper duchy over here. Now, prestige is not ever going to be a problem. We have so much prestige. It It's growing at a very, you know, fantastic uh, rate. Uh, so we're never going to have any issues with prestige. Uh, we're also a living legend. So, you know, I, I say we've done quite well there. Now, if we are going to take over a duchy over here, which one shall we go for? Tuat or Mazab? Hmm. If we go for Tuat, there's the, um, there's the border gore, obviously. So Mazab it is. And I do wonder if there isn't a way. Hmm. Because when we, when we split these guys up into pieces... The war for the kingdom of Anbeya will give us land over here and land over here. And then by the time that's done, we might be able to go to war again with Mazab and take the uh, last little section uh, over here as well. We're going to war like it's 999. Nine, nine oh man, classified. That was very difficult to like say even. 999. Uh, that's a weird That's a weird one. That's a weird one. Natalie P. Hey, glad you could make it. We were talking about you literally like at the start of the stream. We're like, where's Natalie? Where's Natalie? Glad you could make it. Hope you have your cup already. Uh, all right, let's get to work over here. Uh, let's get to work over here, shall we? Mazab Emir Ajdir the second Ibn Sinbad. Well, you're about to have a bad time. Oh, my word. That was, I don't know if I'm proud of that one. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm proud of that. I'm proud of every horrendous pun I make. Uh, all right, conquer the duchy of... Mazab, we are properly strong. I don't need to wait for everybody to reinforce. We're good, we're good. They're vastly inferior anyway. We don't even have to raise all of our soldiers. Um, yeah, let's uh, declare that war. I'm just like running through my head if I've... Again, declaring a war right at the beginning of a session is always like a bit of a throw-off. But I think we're good. Declare the war, conquer this duchy. Good stuff. Uh, again, resuming an old war, really. We, we already fought this war, but we had to end it prematurely because of the uh, Byzantine, um, you know, B-plot. But, uh, but we're back on track now. If I could find my rally points here. Um, go to this one. Where you at? There you are. Pop you down over here. We'll just, you know, rush down and, and, and take this. It sh shouldn't be very difficult at all. Uh, and one thing that I do want to do is... Um, right, we got a new council member because we've lost our marshal. I, I, I noticed it and I kept like being like, I'll take care of it later, but I, I know how that works out for me. Uh, we have our shake over here with a decent marshal actually. This guy's pretty good as well. These guys are all, no one's a powerful vassal and also equally good at, uh, at marshal. Um, one thing I could do is I could seek out, I could seek out a, uh, a, a very powerful marshal in, uh, like across the realm over here, um, all within diplomatic range, please, and unmarried, just to see if like we could bring someone else in. Do I actually have a daughter who's old enough and unmarried? Uh, I have a daughter who is unmarried. Yeah, cool. So we can bring in someone who is unlanded as well, please. Not something I can do here. Ruler, no, unlanded. There we go. Uh, have done a martial focus character yet? I actually haven't, Lazy Boy Forty Nine. I actually haven't. I think one of the things is um, I find that's a pretty uh, common thing to like. I don't want to say chase, but like do. It's like martial is the first thing that comes to mind. So you know, by by virtue of that, I try to like work around it and see how everything else works around it. Uh, but that is something I want to do potentially in my next campaign that I have planned. Is like you know, just like just hardcore warrior uh, king. Well, not king but more on that later um 
the time oh no the fbi is in here oh damn oh no <laughs> uh and uh, time to shake things up my lord all right let's see um what do we have here uh, unlanded um that's yeah, good enough can i have foreign ruler how can you not ruler? there we go Ooh. Guys, not looking like a bad option here. 48, kind of on the old side, though. I don't want anybody who's not going to... Oh, oh, this guy's in prison. That's a problem. This guy's not a bad idea either. 24, probably unlikely to join us, though. Lots of Greeks. Polish, Norse, Norse, Norse. I should probably look at Faith as well, eh? Um, Zaidi, please. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay, this guy's not bad. Amal Hudid, Andalusian. So he's, he's of our territory. He's of our lands. Of our lands. Let's see. He wouldn't just move to our court. I mean, he's actually the closest I've ever seen someone be willing to just move to our court. So uh, let's see if we can't arrange a marriage over here with my daughter, Fatima. Are you a good one for. Ooh, look at that intrigue, eh? Look at that intrigue. Um, beautiful. You know what? If I'm if I'm going to, oof, I don't know. That marshal is huge. Is there somebody, some other woman I could marry you to, that uh, would bring you here? That is not my daughter. Because if I have a daughter who has that beautiful trait, I would rather, um, I would rather, you know, preserve that for somebody else. Uh, not much unsustainable, uh, unsubstainable games. A uh, bit of a recap. Declared war on Mazab. And just looking for a potential marriage for a good marshal over here. Um, oh, I don't know, man. That feels like a waste of, uh, of both beautiful and quick. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a better marriage to be had there. And our, our next daughter is just two years away from being of marriable age. Uh, we could set up a betrothal, but we need a marshal, you know, now. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we could we could wait two years. We could wait two years. Uh, it would be a year and a half. Oh, damn. Do we want to wait that long without a marshal? I don't want to hire somebody and then fire them, you know? I could hire somebody who's old, uh, and that would, um, that would fill the gap and then, you know, quickly remake the gap, I suppose. This guy's 41, this guy's 57, but I don't know, man. If he ends up living for a long time, that's problematic. He loves me, though, so I could fire him and, and not have too much trouble. I, I, maybe that's the way to go. Uh, is it possible to romance or seduce queens of other nations? It absolutely is, Lazy Boy. It absolutely is. In fact, our previous character was writing love letters to the Queen of Italy, if I recall correctly. This present character, though, is asexual, so you're not able to seduce anybody, and you can romance people but you don't end up as um, soulmates, which is a little weird. I would expect it to be the other way around, but um, yeah, that's, uh, that, 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 is a, that is a problem. Uh, oh, you mentioning Guy, <laughs> or Guy reminds me. Yes, Guy, the guy who tossed his uh, corpses at Cordoba, uh, he died last session as well. One of our rivals did die. All right, Akbar Al-Mahad, uh, I'm going to assign you weaker though you are. Because you're not a vassal, I'm going to assign you as my marshal, but that is a temporary assignment. Um, keep organizing the levies. We're going to arrange this marriage over here with Princess Noor. I think she'd be a good match. Yeah, sure. Princess Noor. Uh, you will marry Ahmad Hudid. It will be a matrilineal marriage, of course. And yes, let's go ahead and send that proposal. Yeah, okay, betrothed. This will be a betrothal, right? Yeah, betrothed. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, and in two years' time, they'll get married, and we need to just remember... Well, in one and a half years' time, I just need to remember to swap my marshal out. Yeah, he was a guy named... He was a guy named Guy. Guy. He was French, right? So it was, it's Guy. Guy the something or the other. Guy the dead. Doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Let's go ahead and raise our army over here. Not gonna raise everybody. We only need like what a couple thousand. We let's wait. And, let's wait until we have like five k, and then we can push down and uh, and take everything in a nice kind of carpet motion over here. Uh, any major warnings? I can ransom you. Who are you? You're nobody. You're someone we're waiting on because this guy can afford more. 
Ooh, I don't know if he'll be able to afford more after I'm done with him here, but we'll <laughs> we'll see. Uh, some wars we can declare. Designate a guardian. Abdullah over here, turn seven. Yeah, again, I wish the guardian thing was separate, uh, but I say that every time, and I apologize for sounding like a broken record. He is pensive. He is currently focused on stewardship, which is not a bad thing to be focused on because he could be a, uh, a powerful vassal as a result. And you know what? My son would make an excellent guardian. He's genius as well. So genius and intelligent with the uh, teacher and <laughs> Saketh. <laughs> uh, uh, genius and intelligent between uh, educator and edu educatee and student uh, increases the likelihood of getting a positive results. So let's go ahead and give this to my son and heir, uh, who is a good steward as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Go ahead and send that proposal. Let's do that. Cool. Again, he'd make a good vassal eventually for either me or for my, my son, right? Uh, as, a, as, as, his, as his brother. Uh, I'm new here. This is so interesting. I'm agreeing myself. Well, welcome. Uh, lol, lol Barnett 2K. I hope I got that right. I uh, hope you're having a good time. And uh, cool. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's always fun to, to see, uh, you know, a personal, I, I guess, representation in, in, in video games and whatnot, which is part of the reason why I love that this is this is the map. Uh, it's wild. Uh, but yeah, that, that's awesome. I'm glad you can make it, and I, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, it should pop up for your ears, kids also. Sorry, what's that classified? Oh, oh, yeah, education, like guardianship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally agreed. Totally agreed. Uh, Fatima can marry, and we should definitely look for a marriage here. Now, I don't know about an alliance. I don't think there are any worthwhile alliances to pursue. These are all internal. I mean, that's the thing. There are no more external alliances available to us because of religion. We are, we are you know, we're bordering heathens everywhere. So not much we can do there. But what we can do, again, she is both beautiful and quick. So let's go ahead and find her someone who is also going to give some wonderful inheritable traits uh, to our dynasty. Uh, oh, robust. He's an emir, though. He's not going to... Uh, I don't want to see any rulers over here. They're not going to join our court. Can I not? Uh, there we go. Ruler, not ruler. Robust Fate there. Mm, 37. He's a bit on the older side. I wouldn't mind... You know what? I wouldn't mind someone who's just straight up like robust or Amazonian. I might as well... Or rather, sorry, <laughs> Herculean. Herculean, please, and thank you, perhaps. No one Herculean. Okay, not a problem. Uh, let's make sure they're fertile. Yeah, okay. Robust. Uh, I guess Pate is the youngest robust individual we have. Law Barnett 2K, thank you very much for subscribing, man. I appreciate that greatly. I do hope you're enjoying the show. By the way, folks, we were kind of hovering around 100 viewers, uh, more or less, give or take. As always, if you're enjoying the show, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know by hitting that like button, whether you're watching live or as a VOD. Uh, it does really help me make decisions for the channel. Uh, fishing for a very specific fish indeed. Um, oh, Natalie P., I read that sentence. He had to go, Nisarg. He brought it on himself by refusing peace. I know exactly who you're talking about, and it makes my blood boil. That stupid kid. <laughs> we had a chance. We had a chance there. Pate, Pate. 37. That's not bad. Robust. Okay, a little paranoid, a little humble, a little impatient. Okay, I can get behind this man. I can get this behind behind this man, and hopefully Fatima can as well. Bottom. Um, sure. Sure. Again, they stay fertile for a while, men. <laughs> so it's not going to be a problem. Now, Nasir over here is also tempting, but, uh, but I, I, I don't want to, like, croak in the middle of, you know, God knows what. Um, so, Pate, let's go with you. Children will be of my dynasty. Thank you very much. Arrange that marriage. I think we're good there. I think we're good there. Yeah, no reason not to. Sure. And let's see if we can't get that robustness in our uh, in our bloodline. Send that proposal. That shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully Fatima doesn't end up killing him or some nonsense like that. We've had some bad luck with uh, with Fatimas in our in our uh, in our family before. All right. Let's go ahead and hit resume finally. Um and uh, let's uh Again, we'll wait until like 3 maybe 5k. Ate Mary Princess Fatima, good stuff. You have arrived. And he is Pular. Pular is of the Senegambian. Okay, so from Hirish. Interesting. Uh, let me see, actually. Culture. 
Oh, I can't. Wow, I can't. Okay, there we go. I had to use the mouse. Do they not have any land? I would assume it's over here. Senegambian. I mean, I could be wrong. Blah, blah, blah. I don't see... I mean, it might be that it's all converted now, right? That's obviously a, a thing. Or it might also be that I'm completely wrong. Uh, but all right, excellent. This is good. Perfect, perfect. Hopefully, they'll have some good babies. And all right, let's, uh, let's get this war happening, shall we? And there's a dislike. The dislike is the Byzantine Emperor. <laughs> there's that betrothal coming through. Excellent. 3,000, 4,000. Four, there we go, 5K. That's all we need. Go ahead and move you guys. Again, the, the, the land over here is so non-conducive to... Uh, to moving in great numbers. We have to be wary of that. Nubi Wan Kenobi. Merry Monday indeed. How's it going, buddy? Having a good day? Been a while, eh? Been a minute. My head hurts like an ancient Egyptian mummy's hip trying to hike up Mount Everest. What? <laughs> At three speed. Ah, we'll probably we'll probably pick up the pace over here. Just gonna spread our sieges a little bit first. Where is your up here? Alright, cool. Get you guys coming down over here. Yeah, we're gonna take some losses, obviously, moving through. Akanis, how's it going, man? You haven't missed too much. We uh, uh, did our recap. We declared war on Mazab again, trying to take over the duchy up over here. The emirate, I should say, up over here. Uh, we married Fatima to someone who will hopefully bring uh, robustness into our dynasty. And we also uh, betrothed our um, daughter, Noor, named after our mother, to a man who will be our future marshal, but it'll take still a year and a half before he joins us. Uh, and look at that. My spouse's excellent stewardship skills led to this windfall. Beautiful. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention during our uh, recap is that we are also um, seeing... There we go. Uh, we've also got the uh, formerly known as the Kingdom of Aquitaine. Uh, we also have the Ismailid Sultanate active now. Very proud of this accomplishment, actually. Very, very pleased of, uh, with this accomplishment. Uh, of course, the Sultan. This man's gained some weight, buddy. You get... <laughs> My best friend, Sultan Mikhail, the heartbreaker, uh, was gifted his, uh, you know, uh, 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 ownership, I suppose, of, of all this land as the uh, Sultan of what he has renamed to... Uh, Ismailid territory. I'm really happy about this accomplishment. It feels so. I love. I love. I love role playing games, as many of you will know. Um, but uh, but yeah. So that that happened last session as well, and I forgot to mention that he's definitely man. He's 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 enjoying the uh, uh, he's enjoying his uh, his that sultanate life for sure. A bewinged messenger. All right, this is our scheme to kill the uh, the uh, the man down in Ghana. Uh, as my scheme moves closer to fruition. Swift communication is key. I have an especially clever pigeon, which Nyanyagume Nilane, please tell me if I'm butchering these, if you guys know better, uh, could use to send in... How would I get the bird into the castle of Algaba? Um, a local bird trainer as a gift. If I send the gift myself, he couldn't refuse. Then I become involved, and the secrecy is already pretty low, and I don't want it to be known. Um, honestly, uh, a messenger... Pigeon would improve the success chances here, which is uh, pretty low right now, actually. We're only two months away. <laughs> Akwe who? This is the Ismailid Sultanate now. I like it. <laughs> I love it, Sir Axis. Uh, the Sultanate life is lit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Living the high life. In fact, hold on. Isn't he... <laughs> you say living the high life, but isn't he actually a... Uh... No, he does not partake in... Uh... Well... He gets high off some things, but uh, he does not partake in, in hashish. I was wondering if that was him. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and use a local bird trainer. 70% chance of success isn't that high, but we need that. That 43% uh, is pitifully low. Oh, wonderful. Okay, that's going to help. And in fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at our council here really quickly. You are supporting our schemes. Uh, we might need to invite somebody else over here. No one's really interested. You can be convinced. Honestly, I'll take all the help I can get right now. 53% is not that great. A little bit of money will go a long way here. 14 gold is not that much. Oh, you come so cheaply. So cheaply you join. 13 gold. There's nothing for uh, for uh, Malik Al-Muazzam. What a title too, eh? What a dope title. Malik Al-Muazzam. I love it. I love it. Ooh. Oh no. Damn it. Scheme discovered. The existence of my plot to murder Magan Taburi has been discovered. While my involvement is not yet known, this will make it a lot more difficult to bring my plans to fruition. That's not ideal. That is not ideal. 
Curses indeed. Well, we'll we'll try and try again. Man, that's that's rough though. This is the roughest I've seen uh, these scheme chances. Also, Happy New Year! It's the year one thousand. Only missed it by a couple of months. Only missed it by a couple of months. Oh, what is this? Malik Al Muazma resolves courtier debt. A weak hook on Badayat, eh? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. This is a problem, though. 9% success chance is nothing. And that's 20 some, 27 gold wasted because of the 14 and the 13 we paid. Ah, 9%. What a, what a... Yeah, blame the pigeon for sure, man. Damn, that's really unfortunate. It's okay. I mean, Mazab still needs to be taken care of. We might be able to re... Uh, like, re-engage these guys. He's 56. He's going to die soon anyway. And that succession will happen once he passes away one way or another. And it is a confederate partition still. So, uh, all hope is not lost. There's also Tedmecha. Uh, there's also Italy that we can war with, Hafsid as well. There are a couple of wars we can do. Oh, I'm glad I zoomed out and zoomed back in. This is problematic. Station these besiegers over here and move you. Uh, move you up over. Move you up over here. Actually, move you all the way up over here and move this army down over here to uh, put this under siege. This war is almost done, though. This war is almost done. Damn, those pigeons always so talkative. <laughs> <laughs> messenger pigeons man how else do they pass the message along if not by talking it makes perfect sense fingers crossed fingers crossed it might still work did we miss y1k <laughs> yeah we did only by a couple months though are we seriously still gonna win this despite uh no way no way it's just this one guy this no way it's with the supporting army coming through uh, I can put my nephew in charge. Not the most prowess, but he's a decent commander. Should the engagement begin, let's minimize our losses here. Uh, but it'd be hilarious to see. All of our men-at-arms are here, so... Nah, okay, these guys got away, but we're coming through with 2,900. We're coming through. A decent commander, though I don't... He doesn't look very well armored. Ooh. Time to do it. Oh, Twist the Pigeon was a parrot who was a double agent. Damn. <laughs> coo, coo, coo. He's planning a coop. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. Boop. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. My agents have scheduled a journey from Agan to Buri, which will take them through dark woods. I'm still thinking about this pigeon, man. Uh, all that is missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay them in a highway robbery gone wrong. Um, I can already imagine blood seeping into the dark soil. Uh, the woods can be a dangerous place. Uh, yeah, I can't, lazy boy. And this is that event. It's just the success chance is extremely low. Extremely low. Nine percent. It's very likely that we'll actually get um, found out. Try it. It seems Magan Taburi has escaped Allah's judgment yet again. My hired thugs failed to overpower his retinue. Worse still, a few of them were captured alive and revealed that they had been paid for the attack. Not didn't it? Ah, damn it! It did not take long to trace the payment back to me. God damn. Typical bandits. They will say anything to get off lightly. Now he's going to be watchful for two years, and he obviously doesn't like me all that much. Fair enough, fair enough. His time will come. His time will come. His time will come. Oh, that would have been great, though. That would have been great if that worked out. Now, we can't, um... We can't try and murder him again until 10-10. Waiting a whole 10 years? Jeez. Nah, nah, we're not gonna wait that long. We'll we'll declare war on Ghana. We'll declare that holy war on Ghana for 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 Unbaya before then. We might distract ourselves a little bit with like Italy and whatnot, but um, but not for that long. Nothing like an assassination to de to destabilize a neighboring kingdom. Yeah, I was hoping we'd pull that off. It's always fun. Always fun to uh, to do that kind of stuff. It's it's what brings uh, uh, Crusader Kings to to life, really. Those kinds of awesome political plays and whatnot. It's okay though. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm not too uh, too upset about it. We got the uh, <laughs> we got the pigeon out of it. <laughs> My God. <laughs> My God. Now let's pick up pace a little bit here. Four speed will do the trick. Yeah, this shouldn't be a tough battle for us. Reinforcements arriving as well. There it is. Easy enough. Sultana Asnet gained opinion of me. Good stuff. That's we're not even swaying her or anything. It's just my spouse helping me out. Good stuff. Excellent stuff. And we have this ransom over here. This guy can't, he can afford even less now. No surprise there. But you know what? I think I will ransom this kid off 
because pretty soon this guy's not going to have any money. Well, actually, he'll still have this land over here. Looks like he's in another war, though. Holy War for the Chieftain of Tementit. Oh, this guy's going to get wiped out. This guy's going to get wiped out. Let's take what money we can get. This kid's pretty handsome. Oh, man, this game is, yeah, deep as hell, for sure. Ricky Cool, 29, baby. If you mean me. If you mean this guy, 47, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's ransom him off. I was hoping we'd get to 100, but with three wars on this guy, there's no way he'll, uh, he'll have any more money after our war with him is done, so fair enough here. Every kid. Every kid. And we can negotiate an alliance with Prince Halim. Now, Halim is related to me. How? You are my son. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And I made him the... Oh, he's the Emir of Galicia. That happened last session as well. We, we did give some land off to our more capable uh, children. Go ahead and negotiate that alliance. Might as well, right? And Ismail Ababwa can be given a guardian as well. He is just six. All right, so it must have just happened. Uh, missed a couple of months. Not the end of the world. He's bossy. So we could make him quite the warrior. He's focused on stewardship right now. His stewardship is only slightly better. His education is helping make stewardship better than martial. So I say we switch him to martial education. And um, pretty soon... Pretty soon we'll have a guardian for him. So let's switch him over right now. And as soon as that one marriage happens... Um, where is uh, Noor here? She's 15. As soon as she turns 16 and this guy comes around, we'll go ahead and... and uh... Well, you know, we could send him right now, actually. Why wait? Can we? We can't, because he's not landed or anything. All right, so as soon as he arrives, we'll make him the educator for uh, for Ismail Ababwa. My son, not me. <laughs> Whip the disobedient pigeons. <laughs> the pigeon needs to be put on a stake. <laughs> I mean, I've never, I've never had... Uh, pigeon like to eat but i know people do if anybody in chat has had pigeon let me know how it is and don't don't say it's just like chicken i hear that about too many things it's just like chicken every time someone says something tastes just like chicken i think about uh mouse from uh from the matrix when he says why is everything that why is it that everything tastes like chicken um <laughs> and uh, and i feel that a life of glory we shall get august is next and then we start taking care of our uh health and our well-being. Uh, we're, we're getting to that age after all. Now that actually reminds me though, I should make the decision to uh, commission an epic. Now it gets pretty expensive. This is just the starting cost. If I recall correctly, it gets pretty pricey. So we should wait a little bit longer. Um, maybe give it until we hit 300. Oh, but it's so cool to commission an epic in the year 1000, right? <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's get until, let's get to, let's get to December. It's a December. And commission it at the last possible moment. Uh, I vote for replace the pigeons for ravens and crows. The pigeons have failed us. <laughs> Will I am? I. It tastes like pigeon. Oh, god damn. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. <laughs> pigeon is way tastier than chicken. Really? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I might need to... Uh... Okay, I might need to, to find a way to try out some pigeon then. Good to know. Am I trying to plant witch spies? Oh, oh man, I would I wouldn't mind experimenting with a little bit of witchcraft and wizardry in my next playthrough. Ooh, excellent! A secret exposed. Oh, lots going on. Emir Yudis of Barcelona has accused my friend Sultan Mikhail of having an, had an extramarital affair with his lover Nuna. How could he defile the sanctity of his marriage? Man, this guy gets around. Man, no, no like the heartbreaker, Absa, goddamn lootly. He gets around. How many people has he... He's had more than just this one lover, I can tell you that. Lovers of lovers. I, uh... <laughs> I never would have thought. <laughs> yeah, who'd, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Um, prisoners taking siege. All right, we might, we might have some money over here. We might have some money to make over here. And if we don't, there's certainly entertainment to be found. Oh, we have so many prisoners. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. No ransom, ransom for you. Nothing. Ransom for you. Nothing. How about you? Nothing. How about you? <laughs> Nothing. Well, lots of people for the stakes, I suppose. All favors. I guess this guy's broke, eh? We took all of his money. Is he a seducer? He's, uh, he's a fornicator. So, uh, you know, he has it, he has it in him. <laughs> 
definitely a seducer. And my best friend. Uh, so, you know, I've got his back, I suppose. Man, these are all useless, uh, useless prisoners. And no one, like... What's Lamta? No. I was wondering if we have any more Byzantine prisoners that we could, uh, release for, uh, you know, to, 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 to spread, uh, Islam among them, but I guess not. All right, well, that's unfortunate. War is done, though. 100%. Damn it, it's the 2nd of January. <laughs> Time moves too, too swiftly. 2nd of January, let's celebrate the new year by ending this war. Enforce the demands. We don't need more sieges or anything. We're all done. Hold on, let me just check over here. This one is almost done. How much money is there to get here? Seven loot. That's really not enough. Like, we're better off disbanding our armies. And the money we save will offset the cost of that siege. Uh, he goes around for both of you since you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess Ricky Cool. He ma he makes up for uh, he he makes up for me, I suppose. Uh, enforced demands. Let's do it. We can enter this hysterical Malik Al Muazzam. I've been called many things. Hysterical. I'll take it. Go ahead and disband all these armies. Start making money very quickly now. You guys as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, look at that. We we make money, man. Uh, all right, we are above our domain limit now. Who do I? Who would I want to give this to? Would I give it to like these guys are? It's too. It's unfortunate. So Maghreb was very powerful, and it got split by succession. In their power, they were able to oppose Italy, not very successfully, but you know they tried, and you know Allah bless them for trying. The Tahrit are pretty um, weak in comparison, and they also have a little bit of border gore going on. I could give them this territory over here. Who does it de jure or de jure belong to? Uh, is the question. The Emirate of Mazab belongs to the Sultanate of Tahert. Okay. So the right thing to do would be to give it to them. The right thing would be to give it to them. But. Oh, you know what? He's actually not bad. His stewardship is pretty good. Sure, I can hand him these lands. It's not the most pro. Like, they're not the most prosperous lands or anything. But I can give it to them. What's going on over here? Malikid. Sultan Malik ibn Idris. Who gave you this land? Must have been a part of the succession of uh, of the Maghrebi Sultanate. God, I do love... Uh, I do love... Uh... Oh, I love this game, man. <laughs> Crusader Kings is awesome. <laughs> There's so much stuff that happens. Sorry. Uh, just, just thinking about how much fun I've been having with this game. Uh, also, January 2nd. Now, now. Now, now. If we're close to anybody, it's the Byzantines. And the Byzantines are Orthodox, which means there's still five days left before Christmas Day. And then it's the day after Christmas. Um, so, let's uh, let's go ahead and, and adjust things over here. Uh, so, the de jure vassal, or de jure vassal, or however it's said, it just means it's the correct person that they should be serving. Like, you know, imagine at work, you have the person that you're supposed to report to, but some idiot that you don't like and isn't supposed to be your first report keeps asking you to report to him. You know, you, you get kind of annoyed. You're like, I don't, I'm not supposed to report to you. I'm supposed to report to this other guy. So by setting the vassal and lord correctly, you avoid that kind of friction and upsetness. Uh, also, it's just like, you know, the, 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 the person in charge prefers it as well. It's like, hey, he's supposed to be under my control. He's supposed to be under my charge. That land is supposed to be mine. Why'd you give it to somebody else? So there's a couple of reasons of, of doing that. Uh, de, de jure, I'll take that. I'll take that too. Uh, let's go ahead and... No, January 7th is the Orthodox Christmas uh, date. If you're saying uh, it's a bit late. <laughs> um, oh, a New Year's party is a bit late. 2nd of January. Hey man, a New Year's party doesn't have to last just one night. Grant titles. Go ahead and get you this, 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 and this. That's a lot of land. But you know what, buddy? You deserve it. You deserve it for that stewardship. Oh, his spouse is helping a fair bit, eh? No, it's his Midas Touch that's helping a lot. All right. Yep, that sounds good to me. Grant you these titles, make him a little bit more powerful so he doesn't get rolled over by the Sultanate of Maghreb. Done. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Again, we're a little under our, our holding count, but I don't... I'm not... You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, all in the name of diplomacy. Let's go ahead and commission that epic now as well. Uh, do we not have a physician <laughs> attempt suicide? Jeez. <laughs> do we not have a physician? We do. Wait, no, that's... Yeah, court physician. And he's he's decent as well. Yeah, he's decent. Okay, cool. When the decision comes up, I always get worried. I was like, wait a second. 
Uh, let's go ahead and commission that epic. My family history contains many tales of great success and honor. In any of these, if any of these were composed into a single story, it would certainly reflect very well on myself. Time to start composing. Time to start composing. Now, the thing is, yeah, the costs get... Yeah, see, it's... it's Wow, it's a lot more expensive, eh? 380. I can go into debt for this. I don't mind. I don't mind going into debt for this. You know, you only you only write an epic once. You only write an epic once. I thought I saw a question earlier as well, by the way. I'm sorry I missed it. Uh, but I thought I saw a question earlier about... Uh, about an India playthrough. Uh, feel free to drop that again in chat. I do apologize for, for missing it. And oh my god, Jazzy B, Mikhail, she had to be done. My lord, man. <laughs> My lord, how old is my emperor? I think he's 40. Yeah, he's 47 now. This was the baby emperor. He was two months old when he took charge. Hamud, the accomplished storyteller. Is this not also? No. Oh, oh Hamud. There we go. Is this guy... Ooh. He's a learned man. I say we go into debt for this. I think it's a worthwhile thing to go into debt for. Every so often. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. How, how long will it take for us to make the money back? 380 is so that's 250 let's round 250 we make 23 per month 250 would take us 10 11 months to make and if we're lucky we'll have a windfall sure put the accomplished storyteller on it no corners cut here no corners cut wow <laughs> that hurts to see did i do my math wrong i guess oh no i rounded to 250 right yeah, yeah so we're good we're good, we're good, we're fine, we're good, we're good. You gotta spend money, you gotta spend money to make money. We're fine, we're okay. Not the end of the world. Gotta, gotta tell a good story, man. You gotta tell a good story. Besides, who's gonna do what to us? Who, who, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Ghana's gonna declare, they could actually declare war on us. That's actually a problem. That could be a problem. <laughs> if Ghana declares war on us while we're <laughs> indebted, oh damn that, yikes, uh, oops. Uh, my family epic seems to be progressing well, and some lines already sound like they will be quoted for decades to come. But Hamoud has a lot of questions about the focus of the story. It would be easier to answer if he wrote it all first. Then I could tell him what I dislike about it. But he insists he needs answers now. Man, I don't want to be the worst kind of client. <laughs> I don't want to be the worst kind of client. Uh, it should focus on me and my destiny, of course. Nah, we're humble, so that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I will gain more prestige when the epic is done. I don't need prestige. This is for the family. It is a family history, so be generous. I will gain more renown when the epic is done. I like that. Tell the story as truthful as possible. I'll gain some piety. Hmm. Nah. Family. Let's speak of the family. Let's speak of the family. <laughs> Not to say we should avoid the truth, but... Uh, your brain must be at full speed being focused in a complex game like this and same time being reading chat and communicating with the viewers. Props to you. Well, thank you very much. I try my best. Sometimes I miss things from time to time, but I do try my best. Uh, cancer. Time for treatment. Oh, boy. Time has come to treat your cancer. While I'm fairly certain a simple tincture would suffice, the choice is yours, my lord. Well, do no more than what is necessary. If he is so certain, then we should uh, we should uh, we should listen to him, right? He's pretty smart. We should trust him. A little brighter. Oh, excellent. oh no, what is this? How can I be a little brighter but also at death's doorstep? What is this? <laughs> Why do you lie to me, game? It just decided that the best course of treatment would be some rest. He surrounded me in soft pillows and gently tuck. Oh my God, this guy's an idiot. He surrounded me in soft pillows and gently tucked me under my many layers of blankets. Before he left my chambers, I just pulled my curtains shut. It was noon. What about the tincture? Some extra sleep turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little brighter. Excellent work, Idris. No, no, no. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? Okay. It's just because... Oh, no. No, hold on. Wait, hold on. Excellent work, Idris. Please go away. Please go away. No, go away. Health is still poor. We're so close. We're so. It might be our undoing. <laughs> I love this tooltip. Uh, if you have a player heir, you will continue playing as them. Your vassals may not be as loyal to them. Therefore, it is a good idea to not spend too much gold. It's like if this was a VOD, I would like zoom in <laughs> to my financial situation right now. Pillows and blankets is a cure for cancer. <laughs> <laughs> nap the cancer away uh yeah you can play as the egyptians um in, in in this game for sure absolutely animator and there's actually a mod out there that is set in the bronze age uh where you can play as the ancient egyptians 
and uh, more in like sort of like the Meso Mes Mesopotamia uh, area and whatnot. Uh, Emperor Guillaume is losing some wars. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, that pun was actually unintentional. I didn't realize it was for the county of Nice before I said nice, but it was. And uh, I mean, again, a bit of border gore, but our vassals doing their job. Wonderful to see. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. This was definitely not my my doing. Was this my doing? Oh, it was. You know what it was? Right, right, right. The little, little middle finger to Frankia. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Holy War for the Wilaya of Tortoli. What is this? Just got to keep up to date with the wars going on nearby. Italy continues to to, to, to to grow their holdings. Problematic, but not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. All right, cool. Try and make some of that money back before we die. <laughs> got to nap that. Got to nap that cancer away. Yeah, he didn't mean tincture. He meant tuck in tur. God damn it. <laughs> cancer, just sleep it off. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I have not been presented with new work on my family epic for weeks, and the whole process is either taking too long, or he ends up doing shoddy work. Oh, come on. Is it truly too much to demand that he delivers excellence, and that he delivers it now? Hey man, there's a triangle. Good, fast, cheap. I want it to be good, and I want it now. I'll put him up for as long as it takes. God damn it. Oh! <laughs> this hurts. This hurts. Um, before I, uh, before I went full-time YouTubing, my day job was, uh, I worked, uh, in, like, the design and, and advertising worlds and stuff. Um, and so clients would always be like, I need it good and I need it now. And it's always like, no, it's either, it's either, uh, you know, you've got good, fast, cheap, um, and you can pick two. And you can pick two. Just zooming out so y'all can see, because I see Ethiopia, uh, if, you know, if Ethiopia is on the map being questioned. Um, and so this just makes me, this hurts me, because I, I... I loathe this sentiment. I want it to be good and I want it now. I loathe this sentiment. Uh, but I, in character, am impatient. And so I want it to be good and I want it now. My God, it hurts to click this. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, I'm on death's doorstep. I need it now. Well, clearly we need to make the character as fat as a blue whale that will kill the cancer. Honestly, um, would I rather go with cancer or obesity? Like my... Uh, like my my heir's namesake. What a what a tale. F's in chat, ladies and gentlemen. F's in chat. Ah. Oh. We were so close to accomplishing all of our goals. We literally just talked about how he was a baby. He was but a baby when it all started. He was a baby from two months, from two months old. We took him. We took him so far from two months to 48 years of age. Well, 47 years of age, 48 years of reign. And just short of becoming August and just short of the epic being accomplished. We were so close. We could have accomplished our, 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 our great-grandfather's dreams this session. With him. Oh, it hurts. Should have slept longer indeed, Emilio. Should have slept longer, man. He didn't deserve this, John. I agree. I agree. Didn't sleep long enough, Spindle. Yeah, man. That income as well. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. It did reset the debt, which is good. But, um... But, uh, but damn, but damn, the, 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 uh, the, the financial situation will be okay once we establish our court and once we establish our, uh, our relationship with our vassals. But as one of you have already noticed, there is an interesting sentence in this. Malik al-Muazzam Ismail Ababwa of the Idrisid Empire has abandoned this transient world and flown to heaven at 47 years of age. He died of unknown causes. Although quite famous for his sharp intellect, he could still not outsmart Azrael. Malik al-Muazzam al, al ascends to the throne. Courageous and willing to rush to action, many hope that al Qasim's bravery will not see the realm fall into reckless ruin. So, uh, unknown causes, eh? Unknown causes. To kill the Avenger like that. Oh, we even got that beautiful title. Notice, we're panicking, yeah. 
Now you shall sleep forever. Hey, yeah, Jeffrey, I guess this, I, I, this, I guess this cures the cancer. <laughs> oh, God. What an absolute legend. What an absolute legend. Oh, that prestige on the note of him being an absolute legend. Blanket overdose. Ah, oh, man. That does hurt our prestige quite a bit. We never got to declare the holy war for the kingdom. Oh, god damn it. Oh, this is a setback. This is a setback. Oh. Oh. <laughs> This is the this is the closest I've come to to cussing on a on a stream that isn't about uh, running a drug empire. <laughs> God damn it! Died of cancer. It says. Okay, they say unknown causes here, but here it says died of cancer. Interesting. He was the cultural head, of course. He was dreaded, the living legend, and we've we've lost that now. And it's a long way to get there, man. It is a long way to get there. Paragon of virtue as well. Oh, that piety gain is nothing. Diplomacy and fought in 23 wars. I was lost on succession it is the Emirate of Toledo. That's fine. The Sheikdom of Pravia. Some some of the Sheikdoms and whatnot. Smaller titles. The important titles have, have carried over. So that's all good. That's all good. Uh, and the lineage, of course, we are... How many generations in are we? One, two, three, four, five. The fifth generation. Eh? He's already 30. A little bit on the older side. We shall continue as Malik al Muazzam al Qasim II. A genius... Very good with the stewardship, though. Honestly, that doesn't reflect it, it feels like. Uh, we're, we're pretty good. We're not, we're not too shabby. We're not too shabby. But yeah, time to get swaying. Time to, time to do a lot of work here. Okay, this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to, uh, watch our roll over here. I mean, on the bright side, on the bright side, we'll be able to declare war on Mazab again immediately because our truce was under the previous character. So that contract is null and void, of course. In terms of lifestyle choices, we could go with stewardship over here. Oh. Meritocracy, likable. Oh, that's good. Vassal opinion increases over there. Soon forgiven. This isn't bad, actually. Stewardship isn't bad. I could go with a wealth focus, improve our monthly income. Make a little bit more money. Brave and diligent. Yeah, we could go warring for sure. For sure. First things for... Oh, yeah. You're absolutely right, Natalie. I was thinking it, too, during that transitionary uh, screen. But let us not... Forget most important of things. Oh, we joke about it, but it is an RPG, right? <laughs> uh, where is our beautiful giant turban? Is it the giant turban or um, or or something else? I think it's the giant turban, right? Yeah, looking for a little head wrap. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, the giant turban's the one. All right, good stuff. Already got that on. This man knows what's up. This man knows what's up. Sheikh al Qasim, it was clearly your father's medic's fault. He died at the inopportune time. He shall be beheaded for that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Am I the type to. I'm a, I'm a decent diplomat. I'm a learned individual as well. Not super, not super smart, but. I'm not particularly, like, callous or wrathful or anything like that. Also, I think I'm related to the, to the medic. <laughs> I think. Uh, Royal Cloak. Come on now. You need to have the beard of. Malik al Muazzam. I have a proper. Proper Malik al Muazzam beard over here. Long curly is alright. Mm. Single braid. A little influence from uh, from the north. Uh, big wavy beard. I, I don't mind either. Oh, the big bushy beard. Oh, it's gotta be the big bushy beard, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good look. That's a good look. No, no, he's not wrathful. He's not wrathful. Definitely need to go uh, on the Hajj. You're absolutely right, Lewis. Uh, Got to make the money to go on the Hajj, but we definitely should because it helps with uh, with relations so much. Uh, hair. Mm, let's see. What hair? What hair? What hair? Oh, you know what, actually? You can kind of see... I wish you could rotate this. You can kind of see the back. A little mullet going or something. I see the front as well. Oh! Oh, I like the long, the ver the long wild hair. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? He could like braid his hair and his beard. <laughs> In, uh... Yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, I see you too, Sarko. I see. Yeah, we need to make sure the Empire sticks together before, uh... Before war with Ghana. <laughs> I mean, it looks, 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. What do y'all think about that hair? I don't know. Um, all right, let's see. So, lifestyle focus. Go with stewardship, wealth focus. We could work towards uh, avaricious or something like architect or something to make more money. Uh, not sure exactly which I would prefer. That makes most sense for our lifestyle thus far. We could, of course, switch things around. Uh, we could focus on intrigue as well. Uh, we've got options. We've got options. Need to sway the spouse? I mean, she doesn't love us all that much. Oh, I can just convert her. We're not the same fate. That'll fix the problem. Good stuff. Um, just uh, politely ask her to, to fix her religion. Um, I'm not, yeah, I, I guess we could stick with stewardship. Make the money. The money will help us with, uh, with quite a few things. If I go with diplomacy, there are options that are quite helpful. I like the diplomacy tree quite a bit. I saw the question asked earlier. I do like the diplomacy tree quite a bit. Helps with, you know, educating children and things like that, but... Um, that reminds me, Noor, not yet 16. Man, didn't even get to see the marriage. Didn't even get to see the marriage. That hurts, dude. Goddamn. All party in the back, hell yeah. <laughs> Business in the front party in the back. Uh, more wives, I gotta do that as well for sure. Helps my piety and whatnot. All right, let's go ahead with stewardship. Wealth focus, I think the extra money will go a long way for us. Extra stewardship isn't a terrible idea either. We're at 24. Another plus three would help the domain taxes significantly. Uh, I can't remember the numbers exactly. How much will 27 do for us? Uh, let, let, let's go with wealth focus for now. Let's go with wealth focus for now. Dude just inherited the crown, spends his first day in the barbershop. I mean, think about it, Haldor. Think about it. Your first, um, you know, speech to the people. You got to look good for it, right? You got to look good for it. Sakith, when did he die? Or you're talking about, uh, yeah, <laughs> just moments ago. Just moments ago. Uh, I say unto thee again, mullet al muazzam. Oh my god, Neil. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is good. Let's go with that. Boom, wealth focus. I don't think we can work towards administrator first. Helps our diplomacy. Helps vassal opinion. Helps stewardship. I don't mind that. Positions of power. Helps counselor opinion. Toe the line is not a bad idea either. Honored to serve. Yeah, sure. You know what? I like this. We'll, we'll finish Administrator. He was on this path. Got a role play, right? Got a role play. Uh, so that works for me. Well, let's take a look at our vassals over here and what they think of me. Mm, mm, mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. Well, let's take a care. Let's take care of our uh, court physician first. Clearly, cancer runs in the family, right? We don't have anybody who's all that great, unfortunately. We might actually want to go searching for one. That can be quite... Problematic. It can be quite expensive, rather. Not problematic, but expensive. Um. Hmm. Yeah, Animatoid. It's a pretty cool achievement, that one. Who's the guardian for your current heir? I don't think he's old enough for a guardian. Oh, he is. And he is learning intrigue. Well, fair enough. Hail, genius, and his guardian? He has none. He has none. Let's go ahead and find him someone. If he's going to have the intrigue education, my half-sister is not a bad... Fatima, why are you good at intrigue? Uh, it's not a bad call. He is Hale. That would be sending him into battle, though. You know, we've got to be careful about that. Intrigue as the person in charge helps keep you alive, but, you know... An heir should be, like, high stewardship or something. He's charming. Mm, we could go with high diplomacy instead. Yes, Araxis, for sure. That that uh, that thought hasn't left my mind either. The golden obligations and the uh, the hooks combination. Uh, I think we should switch him to diplomacy, folks. I mean, his intrigue, honestly, he'll just have a good spy master instead. Fatimas are a blessing to the family, indeed. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that that is that is quite ridiculous. In terms of stewardship, I could tr teach him myself. What do y'all think? What do y'all think, chat? I'm gonna get a quick uh, sip of water over here. Intrigue is great. Yeah, true. Maybe we'll stick that. Let me know what y'all think, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna make up my mind as I take this drink of water here. Losing my voice. All right. Let's see. He's really close to strengthening the bloodline. We need to find him a beautiful wife. Yeah, we should definitely take a look at uh, passing more high-quality genes down with him. Uh, Cult of Malgus, thank you very much for subscribing, man. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good time. 
Hope you're enjoying. Uh, get them betrothed while they're young. Party water ASMR causes subs. <laughs> yeah, let's stick with intrigue, sure. Let's stick with intrigue then, and let's go ahead and get uh, Fatima here uh, working on his training. She's quick, he's a genius. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's get to it. Could have could have used a, a vassal opinion improvement, but we're fine. Get that going. Uh, I could also take a look at my daughters here. I've got two daughters and another son. This daughter is almost ready for an education as well. Uh, well educating him myself wouldn't the uh, hmm doesn't the trait actually matter as well? I mean, I could just educate him myself. Because, yeah, I, being a genius helps more, if I recall correctly. That's a good point. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, I should probably... Oh, he's actually a sheik, eh? Damn. Uh, yeah, claim throne um, is a scheme against your liege, your direct superior. And if it succeeds, you get a claim uh, that you can push in war. Uh, or you can get a faction formed to put you on the throne instead. Yeah, I should probably educate myself. Whoops. Uh, my, my sister won't mind. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry. This is... What? Hang on a second. Did I not give him to my sister? Oh, no, this is my half-brother that I'm teaching. Right. Sorry, my apologies. Getting the grips with the new character here. You. Remove Guardian. She lose a little bit of opinion, I think. No, I think yeah, we'll we'll be okay. We, we like each other well enough. That's fine. Uh, go ahead and educate you myself. Let's do it. Plus, we'll get along, and he he'll be less likely to murder me. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's that taken care of. I could also take a look at my my daughters are fine. I could betroth some of my you know sisters and whatnot. These guys are already betrothed, which is good. Uh, we have. Dua as well. We should probably get betrothed. Quick, let's see if we can't get... Um, we're, we're searching robust specifically here. I think we can change that though. I don't think we need that. Uh, we can go ahead and look for anything else. Anything else really. I wouldn't mind trying to get some better like stewards and stuff into my court. I wouldn't mind a marriage for alliances either you know what actually i should probably look at that because uh having alliances with powerful vassals will go a long way and i definitely have powerful vassals that uh probably want some alliances here in front of barcelona hmm. do we not have powerful vassals that require their kids to be married off man look at all these potentials here um, let's see, let's see, let's see. You. Arrange a marriage here. My daughter. Not my daughter, sorry. My sisters, I want. Lua. No alliances. That's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah, I was thinking internal alliances, Lewis, there. And I definitely need multiple wives for sure. For sure. Who else do we have? Um... Okay, you know what we should do? The first thing we should do is my half-sister. Let's go ahead and find someone who'd be a good physician. It's the cheapest way to get a physician. Or we'd be four years without one. Well, well, we'll get one temporarily, and we'll fire him when we get a better one. I think that's the first order of business here. Um, yikes. Is that really the best you've got for me? 11 is the highest learning. We have better learning in our court right now. My wife over here. Don't think she can be a physician, unfortunately. We've got we've got the equivalent. I think we need to search for a court physician. I don't trust those numbers. Start the search. Worst case scenario, if they're too expensive, we can find somebody else. Uh, all right, in that case, fine. Oh man, there's there's like so many moving parts right now. Oh, the succession is always so many moving parts. So she's definitely a powerful one, but there's no uh, alliances to be had there. How about you? If we arrange a marriage with somebody in your court, my half-sister? No. Oh. My brother-in-law. That's probably not a good idea. 
my brother-in-law. Ah, that's, that's enough steps removed, right? That's enough steps removed. Yeah, exactly. I have my personal marriages that I can do for sure for internal alliances or for uh, strengthening the bloodline. Um, we already have our heir, so, you know, it's too late for that. It, it could also help us strengthen our uh, stats with spousal assistance. Uh, let's see, this will make an alliance with the Sultanate of Tahert. These guys, they are one of our powerful vassals. Make it matrilineal? You'll say yes. Really? You must already have a primary... Yes, you have an heir already. Wild. I was not expecting him to accept a matrilineal marriage here. Hmm. Well, let's see. I mean, if he has some kids that are of our dynasty, all it would take is a couple of assassinations by my son uh, or whoever it was that was being trained in intrigue to, uh, you know, fix that, so to speak, if we wanted to. Hmm. Yeah, there, yeah, hmm. Okay, sure, let's do matrilineal. They're Abdullahi, that would rather than be um, Idrisid. So matrilineal it is, they'll say yes, we don't have to worry about this warning. It's in red because we can ignore it. Uh, and one of them is a child, obviously, so it's just a betrothal, but there's one vassal being taken care of. Sultan, oh, my father's best friend doesn't like me. My father's best friend does not care for me. All right, well, let's see, do I have another... Uh, one of my daughters, I suppose. Or perhaps myself. Ah, uh, no one available, eh? Well, one of my daughters, then. Um, one that is intelligent. Prince Abdul Haq Ibn Mikhail is hail. In that case, actually. In that case, I would rather... Um, Princess Asenith over here, my other daughter, who is both genius and robust they should hopefully you know help out will not accept wow valuable claimant that's why it also won't form an alliance but so it's pointless is what i'm getting at there's no alliance to be formed here eh? that's too bad that's too bad and yeah definitely don't want to anger him oh uh good point Yon, uh, Yonitz O2. She's still considering my offer about uh, religious conversion. Good point, good point. Oh, man, there's no... Oh, okay, one of my sons can marry for an alliance. Fair enough. Now let's go ahead and find a son who is, you know, not that great, I suppose. My youngest, perhaps. Uh, not you. This guy's one. Man, you have your wedding planned before... Uh, Before you're even able to talk. What about my half-brother here? What if we arrange your marriage? To... Why, actually, why can't I see him under... Uh, under here? My half-brother. I could see my half-sister. Marshall, my daughter, my son, my son, my half-sister. Why not this guy? Why not my half-brother? Alright, what's your name? Sultan Mikhail. Arrange marriage. Um, is he landed? Oh, that's why. Because he's landed. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> this kid's gonna. This kid's gonna have a rough time. He's gonna have a rough time. I negotiate an alliance with him personally, but okay, that's pointless then. Damn. Remember, the culture religion was male preference, I think, but also party lead said if there were no other options, a female could ascend to the throne. That's exactly right. Yeah, if there are no other options, then the the, uh, the 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 woman ascends to the throne and can push claims and things like that. Yes. Okay, so no no alliance over there. We might want to consider swaying uh, Mikhail over here. He is quite powerful. Sultana Asenet is also quite powerful. Did we have an alliance opportunity over here? Let's see. Not with me. What about with one of my daughters? Just want to double check here really quickly. No, no alliance opportunity. So we want to sway you as well. Quicker to please. Let's go ahead and sway. Start that scheme right away. Mikhail will have to wait a little while. Negative 80. That's going to take some time, man. That's going to take some time. Sultan Abdullah, we're doing a uh, we're doing an alliance over there. Uh, you know what I should actually do is I should check my court out. and I Sorry, not my court, but my council. And I should assign some people over here. Because that will help give me a more robust idea of what opinions actually are. 
Hey, Summer Rain, how's it going? I'm having a wonderful day. Hope you're having a good one as well. Yeah, Lewis, I didn't realize he was landed outside my court. <laughs> I just, I see a child and I go, oh yeah, he's, you know, he, he's not a king or an emir or anything, but nope, very wrong. This guy's a powerful vassal and he's good at diplomacy, so that's, that's perfect. Yep, good stuff. Make sure he's the highest skilled. Um, he's 63, dude's almost gonna croak. We'll let him die, we'll swap him out. For now, let's keep him, keep him happy. Assign you. Uh, excellent. Stewardship. Let's go ahead and get uh, one of my vassals over here. Oh, my brother-in-law. 21 drops down to 9. I cannot assign him right now because he's considering that alliance. Fair enough. I wouldn't mind having an alliance and having him in charge over here. Fine by me. Oh, Sultan Malik ibn Idris. He's not very um, powerful, though. A drop of just 2 isn't that bad. But he's not all that powerful. So we'll, we'll, we'll let uh, Abdullah here take that role of steward. Our dad's beard buddy hates us. How could how I know right? How could he? You can make Mikhail your spy master. That's a good point. I believe he's pretty good at that. Akbar al Mahad. Well, he's gonna get replaced soon anyway. Spy master. Let's see. Oh, my half sister is a much better spy master. A much better spy master. But okay. See, here's the thing. Oh, this is problematic. This is problematic. Hey, hey, Akis, how's it going, man? Akis D. Um. Okay. See, if I make Sultan Mikhail my spy master, while he doesn't like me, he could be party to my assassination, and he would give a huge boost to success chances on that scheme because he's my spy master and he's got good intrigue, right? My half sister likes me, and she's a better spy master. I have to concern myself with the potential that my dad's best friend might actually try to uh, do something here, make a move or do something, right? I don't think I can give him that role. I think I have to befriend him through, like, swaying and things like that instead. I think my half-sister here needs to take this on. My vassal over here, this guy's not powerful enough to warrant the role. I mean, his, he, he doesn't drop intrigue that significantly. If he becomes more powerful, and by that I mean maybe I should make him more powerful... Uh, then he'd be a good good person for that role. But as it stands currently, we're fine. Yeah, Fatima has to be the spy master, right? It's in the name as well. Maybe your dad's friend thinks you killed him for the throne. You are a schemer. Do wonder, where does the hate come from? Short reign, obviously, no, no alliance. Well, hey, man, this is not available. Foreign culture group, of course, it's a problem. One seat on the council, impatient. There's a lot of, a lot of points of friction. Fatima, protect me. Keep you... Uh, um, Disrupting schemes, please. And Steward, we're waiting until um, a bit of support is done. Patronage is maybe not a bad idea. We are relatively learned. If we take a look at our cultural situation, our, we're 12 right now. In about five years, we will have got household soldiers. Uh, and in about five years, we'll also have Banis done. Let's go ahead and have our spouse helping with patronage. With managed domain, she helps with 0.3 gold per month, which isn't terrible actually. Uh, but let's go with let's go with patronage. If we do patronage, this becomes four years, cuts a whole shaves a whole year off, or at least a handful of months. Handful of months. He's just jealous of my magnificent beard. I I believe that. I'm good, Akisti. I'm good. A little late, no worries, man. A wizard is uh, is never late, right? But yeah, I think I think swaying and just. Ruling for a long time. We'll we'll do the trick, make a couple of alliances here and there. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. We'll start making more money off of our vassals and things like that. We'll be okay. Gotta hang on. Look at that domain size, though. We can definitely pick up some more holdings. Um, The other thing we could do. The other thing we could do to appease Mikhail. Because he is powerful. Let's not mess around here. Dude's powerful. Uh, And there will be factions forming. So the other thing we could do is we could grant him some more titles. Right? We give him... The Sheikhdom of Tyr, for example. 40 opinion boost is not any small thing. Uh, so that's an option. The other option is to give him, grant him a vassal here, right? Another 40 opinion boost there. So 40 here, 40 with that. Maybe not a bad idea. Oh, change my priest. Good point. I think that's probably a good call here. Because the uh, the Sultanate over here, it, it should have all of this land. And doing that will give us a very powerful vassal who likes us and who is empowered 
further to uh, declare more wars against the Franks and whatnot. And I wouldn't mind empowering him. Let's learn from our father. Let's learn from our father, the diplomat, right? Our diplomacy is average, which isn't terrible. So let's uh, let's do that. I, yeah, I like that. I think I like that quite a bit, actually. Uh, back to our council here. This guy is trash. Come on, man. Come on. I probably can't even recite the alphabet. My brother here, now he's... He's learned. He's an intelligent man. He's an intelligent man. Yeah, let's do it. Can't be fired, that's for... I mean, this guy will be fired, but he's... What's he worth to me? Who are you? No one. No one beyond my Alama. Alama. Get you on here. Boom, done. Beautiful. Steward. Again, we have to wait a little bit. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and redistribute some of the, uh, the, the vassals and whatnot. Don't hand out your land. Yeah, that's a good point. I shouldn't hand out my land. I'm already so low on lands. Let's grant vassal. Give you and you give this guy. Oh, that's, that's a huge tract of land. That's a huge tract of land. I could give uh, territory up over here. I could also... Oh, yeah, we've got some smaller vassals over here. Because if I'm not mistaken... Okay, well, that doesn't actually rightfully belong to him. I could give this guy over. Yeah, sure, that works. Gotta do it in two separate moves, though. Grant va Yeah, sorry. Grant Vassal. Go ahead and pop you first. Good stuff. And go ahead, Grant Vassal, you second. Set him up for success over here. Yeah, yeah, land I won't give away, but vassal, giving away vassals is, is okay, I think. This doesn't affect our direct uh, domain holdings. It does affect our, uh, our, our finances a little bit, but keeps him on our, on our good side. Hang on. Oh, that doesn't stack, eh? Well, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. What wasn't a mistake, though, is BM becoming a, more, a warden. <laughs> what, what a segue. Thank you very much, BM, for becoming the latest member of the channel. I appreciate it greatly. That kind of support goes a long way in helping the channel and keeping it alive, running smoothly. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, folks. Drop your flags in chat. Drop your E's in chat to give a warm welcome to our latest warden, BM. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very, very much. Uh, all right. I was just trying to, like, figure... Okay, so we've got, we've got some things taken care of. This guy's still a little upset at us, but it's not the end of the world. Maybe a couple of sways will do the trick, but right now we are swaying the Sultana over here, who also doesn't like us. Uh, so we'll focus on her first. Let's go back to our realm over here. Who else despises us? Amir Zala. Can we arrange a marriage over here? Can we arrange a marriage over here with maybe my son or something? Yeah, we can. Uh, definitely not with you. Oh, a sickly one marrying a spindly one? Go ahead and do that. Sure. Can we do a matrilineal? Well, why would I do a matrilineal? I don't want matrilineal. My bad. Uh, yeah, sure. Send that proposal over there. So that should be good. We'll form an alliance over here. Again, it's not so much about the alliances themselves, but it's really about that opinion. We need more of a contribution from these guys. All the other vassals seem to like us well enough. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. All right, cool. Just a couple people need swing. We'll be fine. We'll be more than fine, I think. More than sick buddies, yeah. <laughs> Don't drop easy, you'll break a hip. Aw. <laughs> uh, BM, really been enjoying your Asteroid Battle Lord playthrough currently at episode 50. Oh, nice. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, quite a few more episodes to go. It uh, The ride gets quite wild. <laughs> the ride gets quite wild. Oh, man. Uh, all right, I think we're good to resume finally. Let's start making some money. Okay, at least uh, our dad got to see the year 1000 happen. A faction created against you. An independence faction. An independence faction. Listen, we know how to solve that problem. It would be it would be the diligent and impatient thing to do. Animator, glad you could join us today. Have yourself a wonderful rest of the day. And yes, the VOD will be up right after the stream, so you'll be able to catch uh, everything that goes down. Might peek in occasionally. Sounds good, man. Have a good one. Thanks for dropping by again. Have a good day. Uh, all right, let's see. What was I, what was I looking at? Um, that's my wife converting. Good stuff. Oh, where was I? 
war vassals factions right so over to our court over to our prisoners and over to each and every one of you who we can't ransom go ahead and put you to the stake uh will not be viewed as a tyrant good stuff go ahead and tabot the longwi you are a ah, decent marshal but not not decent enough to save you from this execution a beheading oh switching things up over here Switching things up over here. That's how I found your channel, says Garrett uh, Muller. Is that uh, through through Bannerlord, you mean? Ooh, barbecue, Lewis. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I did not realize you were talking about this, the uh, the executions, Lewis. And I was like, oh, man, I could go for some barbecue. <laughs> oh, man. Execute. And burn the steak. You're just a child. This should gain me extra dread. Oh, 20 dread. Hey, what do you know? It does. <laughs> Uh, this is just a baby. This is Tendred. Weird balancing, but alright. Boom. And this lip Lamta. There we go. Good job well done. Might be low on prisoners. Time to war. Yeah, honestly, we might need to go to war a little bit sooner than uh, initially anticipated. But we want to make sure we have enough money before we do that. Want to make sure we have enough money before we do that. And uh, we're waiting for what again over here? My brother-in-law to accept the marriage proposal. Right. We gotta wait for that. Won't take too long. Won't take too long. Sacketh, which one? Uh, greetings, Malij. Glad they accepted your Okay, good stuff. That is Emira Zaya. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That's not the one I was waiting for. This is the one I was waiting for. Excellent. Now we can go ahead and set you up, buddy, as my counselor. Done. That's one vassal taken care of. Good stuff. Collect taxes. Money's looking pretty good again. Or, you know, earnings. Uh, go back to... Now, you know what? We can stick to disrupting schemes over here. And there's a wedding about to happen as well with our sister. Can you explain my, why money didn't transfer over? It usually does, right? Uh, we were in debt. We had no money. <laughs> we had negative money, in fact. So in a way, I'm glad money didn't transfer over. Oh, I see, Saka. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, in no time we'll be loved. In no time we'll be loved. It'll be all good. On which note, my brother, Prince Halim, created faction to install Emir Halim of Galicia on the Hispanian throne. My guy, what are you doing? What are you trying here? What are you trying here? I just got off my dread. I need more prisoners. War with Mazab might not be a bad idea. Very soon, very soon. Uh, court physician. The world is full of dangers, even to a Malik al muazzam and his court. As for my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they've assembled a few options to choose from. Uh, ooh, we'll be in debt again. Amud is quite experienced. Uh, man, this is way too expensive. That's ten, 10 months of debt. What is our health? What is... Oh, 15 is not that... That's not that big of a difference. That really isn't that big of a difference. Um, where's our court? I always mix up court and council. I always mix up court and council. Like, our highest is... Well, you, we cannot. Can we? We can. 13, 13 to 15 is not that big of a difference. They all fail to impress me. My wife. My wife impresses me most. She will be the court physician when I have enough money to make her so. <laughs> Sue, Sue. Ever thought about creating a character with a tier 3 party perk and lustful trait to create an actual elite party goer? Uh, the thought has crossed my mind and now it's at the front of my mind. <laughs> For sure. Ahmad Hadid has arrived as my uh, sister's betrothed. And this marriage is going to happen soon anyway. Let's go ahead and say... I mean, I didn't realize he's going to arrive early, I guess, for the wedding. Uh, you're not a vassal or anything, so we can swap you out for this guy. Akbar al Mahad. He should be the one with the highest... No, sorry. I meant Amal Hudid. My half-sister's betrothed is the highest marshal. Okay, we're going to wait for their marriage. I don't have the money to hire him this way. We'll just wait for his marriage, and then we'll be good. That'll be good. Glad to hear it, Garrett. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Oh no. Oh no. Ghana took uh, took the land over here before we could. All right, you know what? Our father tried. Now we shall try. 26% success chance, 41% secrecy. Maybe we should wait a little bit longer until we have a little bit more money. I mean, with your support, it might be a little bit more likely to succeed. 43% 50. Oh, you know what? Maybe. 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 
Fabian Ouvre, thank you very much for subscribing. I do hope you're enjoying the show. Uh, oh man. No, I, the, the epic didn't complete, and I don't know if it will now. I don't know what happens if you die mid-epic writing. And splitting these guys up is... We're going to wait. You know what? We're going to wait because he might die of natural causes. And also, we just need more money before we declare a war down south over here. So we'll give it some time. We might go to war with, like, the Hafsid or something instead. There's 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 wars we can go on. There's other wars we can go on. All right. Back to you. Let's go ahead and... Wait. No, not back to you. We're waiting. Uh, all right. Cool. Let's wait time. Wait for time to pass. We're waiting for a wedding to happen. And all the family that I can negotiate alliances with. It's probably not a bad idea. Having too many alliances is a problem as well. Having too many alliances is a problem as well. So you want to make sure your alliances are with your strongest um, vassals first. Emirate of Toledo. Might not be a bad idea. Who is in this faction? Just you alone. My brother, why do you do this? Why do you do this? You're a diplomat. Be wise. Lots of vassals who can't join. And that's what I was looking for. I was like, who else is in here so I could convince them not to, like, not to join? I can negotiate an alliance with him. There. Why be enemies when we can be friends? How about sending Fatima to Ghana's court to uh, pull them apart internally? I could send her in. Yeah, while we wait, you're right. We could send her in to, uh, like, find secrets that we can then turn into hooks that we can use to uh, assist with our murdering. Again, court and council. I always mix it up. Find secrets in... Nyanyaguma Nana's court. I believe he's the one in charge here. No. Agantaburi up over here. Alright, cool. Find secrets up over here. There we go. Cool. Yep. Get to work over there. It'll take her four months at a time. That's not too bad at all. That's not too bad at all. When did Dapper Hat stop coming? Uh, Dapper Hat still drops by from time to time. Dapper Hat was there uh, last week on uh, Tuesday, at least, if I recall correctly. Dynasty head change. That is me. Excellent. Wonderful, wonderful. Faction has disbanded. Beautiful. There's that alliance kicking in. All right, wonderful. Beautiful. Love it. Our financial... Yeah, see, our income is... Everything's already looking good. Uh, except for this. What is this? Taken to the extreme. It was only meant to be a short outing. A pleasant tour of the countryside. Oh, this was... A, he must have made a decision before we became him, and now here we are. Okay, it was only meant to be a short out, a pleasant tour of the countryside. Now it has been days since we saw another living person, and our supplies are long since gone. We've already eaten the horses. Our guide promises that we will reach civilization within the week, but some of the servants are already at their limit, and my stomach growls louder for every hour that passes. Oh man, okay, we can weather this, or we do what we have to survive. Oh... Oh, okay, interesting. We gain Starved, which is a health penalty for five years. Or... Or we do what we have to to survive. And become cannibals. On which note... Hey, April, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Dropped in at the perfect time. <laughs> for an interesting twist in our tale. Already quick cooked a few babies in the dungeons. I mean, gee, yeah, did that uh, did make that barbecue joke as we were doing it. Is that a sign of times to come? Look at how innocent he looks. <laughs> Eat up, fam. <laughs> it had to be done. <laughs> oh no! You know what? I'm I'm Malik Al Muazzam. I can't just die. What, can, what what's gonna happen if if I end up starved and I die? Right? So early. My young son, who is only seven, is only seven. He's gonna take over. It's way too early for him. It's way too early for him. And so we feast. <laughs> we do what we have to to survive. Oh my god, think of the empire. Exactly. This is for the empire. This is for the empire. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I become a cannibal, and on that note, the following faction that targeted you has disbanded. Yep, <laughs> they know what's up. Praise Allah. Oz has given birth to a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Firuz? Uh, after my father, maybe. Do I have a son named after my father already? I, I do. <laughs> I do. 
I like Fiddles is a good name. Let's find uh, a a Ron. Don't mind that. Ashraf, Jaldat, Ezra, Abdullah, Nabil, Milad. <laughs> yeah, I like that for many reasons. I might be blackmail David Packham. I might be. But hey, you know what? It'll be an adventure. It'll be an adventure. Natalie P, it was for the Empire. Just like my great-great-grandfather or whatever it was. You know, doing it for the Empire. Doing it for the Empire. I, I will... I will <laughs> call him Hannibal. Is there a way we can... Uh, we can... Uh, uh, Arabify Hannibal. I mean, Hannibal. You know what? Oh, I wish we had uh, territory over here. Maybe we'll call him Hannibal and we'll we'll set ourselves on to um to, to taking the uh, taking like you know modern day Tunisia here. So we're making this a bit more like Arab, I guess Arabic style. Hannibal. We shall reform our religion. We have been enlightened. Kings need to feast on their brothers to ensure the line stays strong. <laughs> Did they taste like pigeon? Oh man, Hannibal could take Carthage. That would be pretty fun if he ends up, uh, if he ends up, you know, a vassal and and, and pushes through. Yeah, no, Hannibal is a Carthaginian name. I'm just wondering. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could uh, hearken. Back. How learned are we? We're pretty intelligent. You know, this could be us uh, pulling from uh, from history. No, I mean like uh YouTube Sarko, it's 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 uh it's not an Arabic name though, Hannibal. I mean it's from North Africa, but it's not an Arabic name. Is is what I'm getting at. Cause Hannibal is from you know, Carthage predates Islam and the Arab culture, just throwing it out there. <laughs> Hannibal Barak. <laughs> uh 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 Yonitz uh Yonitz? O2, I hope I said, I said, I hope I said that right. Uh, this is 1.1.3 because 1.2 breaks the save game, unfortunately. So I had to roll back to 1.1.3 for the live stream. That's see, that's uh, that, that's why it looks a little different. It's technically Phoenician. Yes, you're right. It is technically Phoen Phoenician. You are correct. You are correct. Carthage was but a uh, colony of. Uh, of the Phoenicians. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call him Hannibal. Let's call him Hannibal. No, we, we're educated. We, we, we know where the name comes from, and us in chat know where the name is going. May you, be, may you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Oh, okay, fair enough, you to Sarko. I mean, again, that's why I was, like, checking if there's a more, you know, Hannibal. <laughs> close enough. We're close. We'll go, we'll go with Hannibal. We'll, we'll go with it. Um, sounds good. Didn't want to spend like, you know, 20 hours on that one screen. A betrothed can marry. Okay, this is good. Perfect timing. Send that proposal. Let it happen. My brother-in-law now. Excellent. Who will be our marshal? He wanted me to pay him to join my court. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Go ahead and train commanders. No, you know what? Let's, let's get us to full strength and then we can flip to training commanders because should Ghana declare war on us, they're actually stronger than us right now. <laughs> YouTube Sarko. <laughs> uh, yeah, this uh, this could be a problem. Ghana could be a problem. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Hmm. Really something to think about. The Franks would not be a problem. I'm wondering, like, do we take over some more Frankish territory to strengthen our uh, abilities a bit? Declare war up over here. Gain some lands. And... Uh, well, if I were to declare war on you, what kind of war would it be? War for a county is pointless. Oh, we've got some claims over here. Budimir's claims, Victor's claims. Ooh, that looks like a pretty big tract of land, actually. Do we have enough prestige for it? Down over here, Emir, Yudis II, and up over here. 750 prestige, that's not too far away. Not too far away. What about Budimir? Budimir, do you only have... Okay, not, not too much to claim there. Same over here. Well, that's not too shabby. Have the Ghana King over for lunch. Well, we're going to be assassinating him for sure. Very soon. Very soon. The Hafsid, they will not become our va the Hafsid will not become our vassal because they are not a, uh, like, there are too many issues. Uh, once we become the Emperor of Maghreb, maybe. So instead, we might have to war with them. We could ally them, but they're really not worth allying. They're so, like, weak. Um... 
Oh, this is interesting, actually. This is interesting. Ghana could pose a threat to us. If we don't improve our relations quickly, they could pose a threat to us. Oh, dear. Or have him as your lunch. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> Again, let's let's wait until at least one round of the secret finding. So maybe we can get some hooks and then we'll go for the assassination. All we need to do is split this empire into pieces. Or split this kingdom, I should say, into pieces and we'll be okay. That will weaken them. Look at that strength, though. Look at that strength, though. That is kind of worrying. Liberty faction. Oh, relax, buddy. Relax. What's your problem? Why are you so grumpy? Why are you so grumpy? Faction to install Malik of Malikid. These guys. Oh, what are you What are you hoping to accomplish? They're not even powerful. Just following, creating factions. The independence faction has disbanded. That's good. We just need to be more, uh, more dreaded. We'll manage that in no time. Are the secrets coming along? Almost done. Come on, give me something. Give me something juicy here. While performing her duties as my spy master, Fatima has uncovered a secret held by Nyanyagume Watas of Timbuktu. He schemed from the shadows to have Debagume Sirman murdered. Oh, not only cruel and heartless, but dishonorable as well. I could try and blackmail him for it. Betroth our son to Ghana, then we murder the way to the throne for him. Uh, that'll be highly unlikely. I like the idea a lot. I like the idea a lot, but our religious differences will likely make that impossible. Okay, well, we learned a secret there. That's that's valuable. Let's see if we can... Whoa, not declare war. If we can arrange a marriage here um, with his daughter, we'll not accept. Even even though it's me, myself, will not accept. That, that faith difference is way too big of a, a roadblock. Way too big of a roadblock. I could try and find some spouses over here. I could try and find, uh, based on alliance power, Medellin Emirate. I don't know if that's really the best call. Medellin Emirate. Okay, they're not... Not a terrible idea. They're not a powerful vassal, but not a terrible idea. Callous and temperate. Interesting. It's Emirate over here as well. Again, not a powerful vassal, but even just improving relations isn't a terrible idea. Our current wife is robust, and our primary heir is genius and hail. So, like, we're fine in terms of our, you know, our uh, inheritable traits and whatnot. We're okay on that front. These alliances, these marriages should be for either alliances or for uh, traits. I would say. That's what I would say. The Byzantine tactic would have worked if uh, if we'd taken longer to, to convert vassals before we converted the liege. I think we, we had a chance there. All right, let's go ahead and take on some of these betrothals. Uh, and I will take on the betrothals that are younger, uh, because that way we have more time to change our minds. So let's go ahead and send that proposal out. These are all internal, fortunately. Find spouse, uh, alliance power, and let's go ahead and get you. And again, these are proposals. We're not getting married when she's two. Don't worry. Uh, make sure this is the right, yeah. Send that proposal as well. And I think we have one more slot available based on Alliance Power, the Emirate of Barcelona. I mean, these guys are relatively powerful. They've got this little tract of land here as well. He also doesn't like me. Again, getting them to like me is, is helpful as well. Hang on a second. Emir Yudis II. Hold on. Are you a... Are you the right type of vassal here? Okay, they're, they're all clan vassals. Okay, good stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this done as well. She is frail, though. Ugh. Too bad. He's, he's the only option. The Bacalid Emirate is a little bit weaker. Also doesn't like me. Better Marshal, though. So in terms of the uh, contribution, that does have an impact. But this guy's got better finances. Uh, Trisha, yeah, so we can't marry with Ghana because of our religious difference, so we can't have an alliance, unfortunately. Sakith, gotta go. Sounds good, man. Hope you had a good time. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you had a good time, and, uh, hope you have a good rest of the day as well. Cheers. The secretly cannibal Malik al Muazim checking children out for marriage, like, looks tasty. I mean, the alliance, yeah. The, of course, the alliance is, uh, is the first thought. Um, oh, man, this is, uh, this is unfortunate. But, we do what we must. For the Empire. If I push Yudis claims he'll become a powerful vassal, that's true. He will also like me more for it, and I will have a hook on him. 
And I'll have a hook on him. So maybe this is actually unnecessary now that you mention that. Maybe that's actually unnecessary. We can wait a little bit longer to, to, to have him be our friend. Not that this is any better of an option here. This guy is spindly. He is a powerful vassal, though. So sure, you know what? Fine. Let's do that. It's better for the Empire. And before before they come of age, maybe we need we can break the the the, the betrothal, right? Done that proposal. Sure. That'll help us a little bit. Princess Fatima. Finish the fine secrets task. Keep at it. Hopefully we can find another one. Alliance is formed. Good stuff. Excellent. Alright, strength is now similar. That's good. That's good. Superior is not a word I would like to see, ever. Someone else's military strength being superior to ours, not something I would like to see. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our situation here though with the secret. We can blackmail for a strong hook, which is great. Not just plotting the murder, but committed the actual committed the murder here. All right, let's try it. Otherwise, you know, what good is this uh, secret? 92% might accept. Yeah, for the murder. Yes, I, I think he might. On decline, whatever. He's not going to care. And I'll expose the secret. Go ahead and blackmail him. Rather, another faction to install somebody else. Blackmail refused. Really? Really? Wow. Well, a threat was made. It can only be one outcome. I don't... Uh... They're not blackmails. This is not blackmail. It's legit. It's a legitimate threat. Cashew nut lover. Glad you can make it. Finally caught a party lead stream live. Hey, man. How's it going? How's it going? Just as a reminder again, folks, this week is a little different in terms of our live stream scheduling. Of course, today's happening right now. Tomorrow, it's going to be at the same time, 10 a.m. Uh, go on for two hours. Uh, but we're adding an extra stream this week. Just for those of you that missed it earlier, I announced it right at the beginning. But for those of you that missed it, we're adding an extra stream this week on Friday, same time, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, it is a birthday stream. It's the first ever birthday stream we're doing on the channel. And I uh, figured I'd mention that a couple times in today's stream. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a change to uh, to the uh, to, to the schedule this, uh, this, this week. Uh, I didn't find any agent. Oh, any secret? No more secrets available? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Oh, come on, Fatima. Try it. Try one more. One more round. One more round. Still blame the pigeons? Yeah, honestly, right? If only that worked. If only that worked. In our previous life, I mean, the uh, the, the, the murder attempt. I and mean, we could try it here as well, right? We could try it here as well. We might have a decent success chance. When we have a bit more money, which, I mean, to be fair, we have quite a bit now. Uh, we'd be... Uh, I'd be less worried because we could bribe some more people and things like that. Yeah, birthday stream. Yeah, it's, yeah. I figured a, a few of you missed that when I mentioned it. More or less right at the beginning of the stream. So, uh, uh, yeah, come late that one time. That's all it takes, right? Uh, but yeah, I figured I'd mention it again. Mention it a couple times the stream because I want to make sure people catch it. And again, folks, if you don't follow me on Twitter or you're not in our Discord, links to both of those are in the description down below. Twitter is where I make, you know, sort of constant updates to schedules and stuff. They get posted on Twitter. And Discord, of course, I post updates there as well. Uh, that, Arcanus, is actually something I cannot answer yet. Uh, I know what it's going to be, but I can't share. <laughs> get hyped, though. But I, I can say this. If you like Crusader Kings and this kind of game, I think at least, in my humble opinion, there is a connection. I think you will enjoy the game that I have planned for Friday. Uh, but yes, I cannot at present uh, answer that question, unfortunately. <laughs> Greetings, my liege. In serving as your chancellor, I have learned much about manners and etiquette. I'm willing to tutor you in these topics in order to gain your favor. Interesting. Interesting. I could take his lessons to heart with very little opportunity to increase my diplomacy. But again, diplomacy... Oh, but I might actually get this taking etiquette lessons, which is a bigger boost to diplomacy. Okay. He does get a weak hook on me, which is problematic, but this guy is my chancellor already. So, that's not a problem. We can both benefit if we pool our knowledge together. Okay. Okay. Oh, that would make him smarter as well. Not bad. That's not bad. He's a vassal of mine, so him having better stewardship is not a problem. And he does not get that hook on me, which I prefer. I can manage this fine on my own. I don't want to do that. Let's not be, uh, we're not, um, what's the word? We're not arrogant, right? We're not arrogant. 
It's a birthday surprise in reverse, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. It's a good way to put it. Yeah, we can both benefit if we pool our knowledge together. I'm an intelligent man as well. Yeah, not not super intelligent, but I'm smart enough, smarter than him. Maybe I can teach him a thing or two. We can both benefit. Let's do it. Gained etiquette lessons, good stuff. That'll help my diplomacy here. Plus three is not bad. It'll help with the vassal's opinions of me, help with taxes and, and strength overall. Good stuff, good stuff. And you know what? Let's go ahead and I think... Um, Oh, a guardian for Cena here. Cena. John Cena. You are charming. Diplomacy and intrigue. You are on the path for diplomacy right now. Let's find a good diplomat to train you. My brother-in-law and Marshall both. Maybe I should... <laughs> maybe we should go for uh, for intrigue instead. Your, my half-sister could train her. Sure, let's do that. Diplomacy, intelligent, and charming is helping. Intrigue, intelligent, and charming, but the lack of the education focus. She'll be a little bit weaker, for starters, but, you know. <laughs> Jean C yeah, <laughs> Jean, Jean Cena? When is Elizabeth's birthday, and for that, do we get bunny cam? We actually don't know when her birthday is. She was a rescue. Um, so we don't actually know. We also don't know how old she is, really. Um... Uh, yeah, Ricky, cool. Birthday is actually on Friday itself, so the birthday stream will be happening on the birthday. Uh, should be a fun time. Yeah, and it's the first one we've done on the channel. I thought it would be a you know, fun way to spend some time together. Uh, it's not something we've done before, and yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Go for that intrigue education over here, and um, educate child. Not me, but my half sister. No way home. We've said that me being a genius is probably for the better, right? Right. I keep forgetting that for some reason. It is probably for the better that I do it. We'll find out. We'll find out. Can I not? Oh, do I already have too many? Um, I do. I've got two wards already. Okay. Well, in that case, I mean, the half-sister is also quick, so it's not a problem. It's not a bad thing. Let's send that proposal. Good stuff. Sorry, uh, oh, oh, Elizabeth's birthday, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can't fault you for trying, for sure. <laughs> uh, war with uh, Hafseed in the meanwhile is probably not a bad idea. I saw that mentioned in chat as well. We could do that. We could probably clean up a little bit over here. I mean, I'm actually thinking we go a county at a time. It'll cost us prestige. Whoa. But a transfer of power over here. What happened to uh, Guillaume? Died from his internal injuries. The day after my birthday in a thousand and one. <laughs> so, you know, a day after my birthday, several, several years in the past. All right, we have a different emperor now. Relations probably pretty weak. I imagine you rose to the throne very recently. We're going to declare war for these claims. 750 prestige. We're almost there. I would, part of me wants to wait until we're able to do this rather than uh, war down over here. Also do the seizure over here. It's just the one, one tiny plot of land. One of my vassals might do that instead. And again, this doing this conquest will improve our relations. It'll get me a hook, and I would, uh, I would uh, expand our holdings by a fair bit more. Let, let's be a little patient. Let's be a little patient. It's not too long from now. Yeah, intelligence good enough for a good education. Oh, I already swapped her over to, to um, Intrigue. My wife, Malik al Muazzam Tawiz, is once again absent from our chambers as night falls. Oh, not this again. She has been distant lately. Lost in thought and rarely seen at court. I mean, not to her satisfaction. Is she simply busy or could she be warming someone else's bed? I have no reason to believe she's up to anything. I could investigate this myself. I could just speak to her. We are Intrigue-ish. <laughs> Why would I gain stress? I guess it's just a stressful thing. It's not because of a character. It's not like uh, against our character, but it's just it's stressful to investigate if your significant other is cheating on you, I suppose. Um, I will investigate this for myself. Sure. Neighbors losing some wars against... Oh, the war against King Merovich of East Francia. Wait, hold, hold on a second. Hang on a second. Hold on a second. What just happened here? Burgundy is a thing now? No way. Hold on. Hold on. Burgundy is a thing now. Duke Auger of Burgundy. Buddy, what are you doing? You're asking for trouble is what you're doing. 
Oh, man. Things are falling apart for the Franks here. Things are falling apart for the Franks here. I can't offer vassalage or anything. Not a chance there. Damn, man. Oh, that's... Okay, well, there's another war opportunity. The Franks will probably take them very soon. They're not weak, though. They're not, you know, weak. Uh, they're not strong enough, though. With suspicion, I took Abdullah out playing with a bow, and to my surprise, he ran into a wounded doe. He later lashed out at me, thinking I had staged the whole encounter as some kind of test. I could say it was certainly a test well done, making him paranoid, which is not a terrible thing for intrigue. But we are training him for for uh, stewardship, though. Then show me that you could have felled the animal yourself. That would make him ambitious, which is good. Which is good. Someone always suffers. Make certain it is not you. Will make him sadistic. Now, now. We're supposed to be making him a good steward. This is my half-brother. Uh, who hopefully will gain land at some point. Oh, I can't ally him, Cashew Nut Lover. Uh, faith is going to be too much of a problem to make an alliance there. And I'm not able to abduct him and, and convert him because we don't have the abduction trait like we tried with the Byzantine Empire. East Francia is back from the dead too, yeah. I this is um This is a wild turn of events for the Franks. What 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 the, what is going on, man? Um but yeah, show me you could have felled the animal yourself. Be ambitious. Be better. Uh what is this is great. You know what this is great in a few ways, because it's very possible that Mikhail here will uh get the confidence to take on Burgundy because Burgundy is weaker than him, so he might make that push himself. I love having, uh... I love having, um... Uh, powerful vassals like that. Uh, Aslan Hicks, thank you very much for subscribing. I do hope you're enjoying the show. If you are, you know what to do. Hit that like button and let me know. Again, folks, if you're watching live or on a VOD, hit that like button. Let me know you want to see more CK3 and more live streams on the channel really does make a massive difference in how I approach things. Yeah, Paranoid is bad. It makes it tough to recruit people, for sure. Sadistic Cannibal, that's not the direction you want to go in? Well, they're, they're not a cannibal. That's my half-brother. Only I, only I am the cannibal. <laughs> There's nothing sadistic about being a cannibal. What are you talking about, Natalie? What are you talking about? Paying homage. My vassal, Sheikh Christopher, has arrived outside my castle with a grand procession of well-dressed diplomats, ferris, and exotic entertainers. Prince Christopher Fabulous, he... Christopher, uh... Jane? That doesn't rhyme. Um, it's, uh, the fellowship resembles a parade led by Christopher himself. Christopher. Cr Christopher? I don't, know how to, I don't know how that's pronounced, actually. In a booming voice, Christopher announces that he is here to pay homage and that he comes bearing gifts of gold. Such generosity is hard to find in a subject. Christopher's loyalty is truly something to treasure. A treasure indeed. Please enter. Deposit the gold on your left. Why, surely you have more to give. Or, keep the gold, your friendship is enough. Aw, No. Pfft. Come on. I'm a steward. He gains 15 opinion of me out of respect. Could gain a lot more opinion, but we get along already. Clearly, you know, if he's... All and we're back. I think we're back. I think we're back. There we go. We're back. Back again. Party's back. Tell a friend. Folks, I don't know if this is coming through, if the connection is going to stay solid or uh, if uh, if not. But unfortunately, I guess we're going to have to call it a slightly early stream today. Never like doing that, but uh, something is not cooperating somewhere. But we're gonna we're gonna throw up that thank you screen, of course, because no matter what connection troubles we have, we cannot call it cannot call it a stream without saying thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who have been supporting this channel on a monthly basis. Received a new member today as well, of course. Got to update this uh, end credit screen over here to make sure that uh, it's up to date. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we, uh, we I don't know if y'all can hear me. I don't know if the connection is working or anything, but it's a slightly shorter than usual stream. My apologies for that, folks, but uh, I think uh, I think I need, to, I need to look into this for sure um, before the connection drops again and, uh, and it all, you know, 
uh, it's a, it's a broken experience. Uh, but thank you all very much for joining. Um, yeah, hopefully tomorrow and on Friday will be good. Exactly, Jazzy B. I, I hope that I hope it does work out. Um, it, it's back, but I think uh, I think like a lot of people stopped watching and, and and walked away and whatnot. So and and also I don't know if this will stay up. I don't want to like you know do another ten minutes and watch it uh, watch it fall apart. Um, I'm running out of space on the members list. Yeah, I gotta 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 add uh, gotta add some more room. I've been I've been planning to rework this a bit so we have more room. <laughs> You can hear me. All right, good, good, good. Um, yeah, sorry, folks. Uh, damn, that's a bit of a bummer. But you know, it, it's it's okay. It's okay. We only lost like you know 30, 40 minutes of uh, of time today. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we will have a very exciting start to uh, next week's session. Uh, we have the you know Ghana situation still, and that's that's gonna be a good time. Uh, just as a reminder, tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So same start time as today. Uh, we're going to be back with uh, Phantom Brigade, which is a super fun game. I've been loving it. Uh, so join in for that. Uh, and then on Friday, again, we're doing a little birthday stream. Same time, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So same time as all of them. Uh, again, follow me on Twitter for, you know, updates to random schedule, kind of stuff like that. And as YouTube Sarko just dropped the Discord link in the chat as well. You can join our Discord over there. And uh, another way to kind of you know, stay up to date and hang out with a fantastic community of fantastic people uh, playing all sorts of fantastic games. Glad to hear it was a good stream still. Uh, I always, this kind of stuff always throws me off. So I apologize for that, folks. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there, there will be another stream tomorrow. There will be another stream on Friday as well. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for your patience as well. I apologize for the situation. But next week, again, Monday, we will be back with more Magrebi Madness. And, uh, and, and I think that one's going to be a rough one because it's going to be War with Ghana. Uh, and the Franks, and so much is going on. But, uh, folks, again, massive thanks to our latest member, a massive thanks to our members and patrons who've been supporting the channel for so long, a warm welcome to everyone who subscribed, and a massive thanks to all of you who've been watching along. Whether I catch you tomorrow, on Friday, in the comments, in between, on Discord, or wherever it might be, 